ahead and I will put me on speaker view. We are recording this, so I will make it available. I know we have lots of different people here. So if you are in my community where you've discovered or you heard about this link, there will be a recording that you can access. If you are not in my community and you would like access to share the recording with somebody else, please either reach out to me or I see um, Louise here. If you, I will share the recording with Louise. If you are part, um, if you heard about it from Kathleen Harvey, I will share the recording with her. I'm just trying to think who all I shared the information with, but please know, yes, we will get you the recording and share because we want everybody to have this information. It is, it's too good to share or to keep by ourselves, right? So, so this topic tonight is ways to keep your immune system strong. It's a hot topic right now, guys, right? It has been for a couple of months. People are really, really um, interested to know what that looks like because if you're, maybe you're like me, um, where I was seven years ago, I had no idea what it meant to even use um, natural things in my life to keep my body operating at its best. And so if that's you, don't worry. You are you can take baby steps and learn tonight. And if you are a little further down that path, you're gonna find still some tips that I think that you will see that can be added to your routine to help you and your family as well as we're in this season. So um, wellness is actually it's an everyday choice. We get you know the opportunity to make choices multiple times a day on what we're going to do. Either we're going to do something that's positive for our body, or we're going to make a choice and maybe do something that maybe is not going to be so beneficial, right? So not everything that we do is a 911 kind of a choice. So um, we love to incorporate lots of different things. Um, I'm going to talk about some products. I'm going to talk about some essential oils. We're going to talk about things that don't even cost you any money that you can do for your immune system too. So I think for me, it's a great reminder often to, um, yeah, just be reminded of these things. Even when we're going, you know, on this journey, it is, it's helpful to have a reminder. So, all right, we're going to jump in to the first one. And some of you might just want to leave the call after you hear this one. You might not like what I'm going to say. <laughs> so, um, number one, is avoid sugar and processed food, right? Ah, I hate having to be the bearer of bad news, but you guys, that is one of the best things that you can do for your body is to ditch the sugar. Now, I mean, I have sugar sometimes, you guys, but I'm very careful about what I choose and how often, right? And so the other part of that is um, processed foods. So. Um, when you um, eat or drink sugar, um, it actually curbs your body's immune response. So you're really damaging your body's ability to fight back, whether you're exposed to certain things or even just to keep you on a wellness lines. So, um, so bacteria and viruses, your body has to be, you know, the immune system has to be in a really good place to combat those things, right? So every time we, you know, maybe drink some soda or we add that packet of sugar to our iced tea or we eat those bags of cookies, you know, all of those things or a bag of Doritos, all of those things, they matter. And so just kind of looking at what you can do differently is really important. So another thing I love to share, which I didn't really, so just know I am not an expert here and I am still learning on this journey. I have, do not live a perfect life, you guys, but one each day I get to make better choices and that's how it is. And every day we get a new day to be able to make better choices than the day before, right? So, but processed food is often dead food. There's no life in it. So when you're eating something out of a can or out of a box, there's really little nutritional value to what you're eating. We love to eat fresh, um, fresh food, things that aren't, haven't been frozen or haven't been canned. Um, there's a time and a place to use those things, but really the most benefit you're gonna get is when you're using and um, products and produce, all of those things that are fresh. So they're gonna have more vitamins and minerals. Um, which actually help prevent cell cellular damage. They're also going to be high in trans fats, which end up in a person's arteries and liver. The things, I'm sorry, those are going to be um, what are going to be in processed food. So 
Um, so you just want to be really careful. So you want to nourish your body with real vibrant living food that will flood your system with real nutrients. So, um, oh, sorry, Casey's, can't get the link to open. What am I doing wrong? Oh, the link to the, um, the handout. Um, that's the link I have. I'm sorry if you're having trouble, but if you have, I can get you the link afterwards, okay? So let me know and you can message me privately on Facebook or you can email me, I'll put my email here and then I will help you out afterwards. Sorry, I just saw that as well. So let me put my email here in case anybody else has a little bit of trouble. Okay, there we go. So, um, so real food guys. So I would just say, you know, look at what you are bringing into your home. That's one of the biggest things. Is if we don't bring it into our home, we're not going to be tempted to eat it. So I love to stock my refrigerator with as much fresh, organic produce and vegetables as I can. So um, if you're if you're near a Costco, we stock up at Costco because guys, they have an amazing selection of organic produce, and it doesn't break break the bank. So, um, so keep that in mind. So, um, so the second thing we're going to talk about is, um, to hydrate with water and why your body needs this so bad. So just as much as good food, putting that in your body, you want to be flushing your body with good, clean water. So, um, oftentimes I see lots of people drinking a lot of things, in fact, my own older kids that were here visiting over the last weekend, drinking all kinds of things that were not water. And I'm like, oh, my mama heart, like you need to be drinking water, not all of the, the you know, tea is great, but iced tea and sugary things, sodas, all of those things. And I think a lot of times people think that those are, they count as our, you know, our, our liquid consumption for the day, but it really doesn't. And those are not necessarily going to be beneficial to our body. So having good, um, Clean water is really important. In fact, our bodies are desperate for water. Hydration and cleansing, th those are key components to being able to get stuff out of your body. If you wake up in the morning and you feel really stiff and it's kind of hard to get going, it's because, so usually for like eight hours, you haven't drank during the night, right? And so you get up and you, you're a little bit, a little bit dehydrated. And so it's great when you get up in the morning to take a full glass of water and down that or two, and that starts getting everything kind of lubricated in your body. And it's a really great way to start your day. Well, the same thing can happen if you're not drinking water during the day, your body isn't able to operate at its fullest. So uh, water is life. It's the number one source of nutrition, considering that the human body is made up of 60% water. You must be adequately, ad, adequately hydrated for your um, physiological systems to function property, properly. Gosh, I'm, not, I'm mixing up my words here, guys. Water helps maintain organ health and allows the blood to maintain the consistency it requires to flow freely and transport oxygen and nutrients to every cell in your body, okay? So here in the US, we take clean water for granted, to, to be quite honest. Um, so I know my part of my journey was realizing that the water that came out of my tap had things in it that I did not want to be putting in my body. So, so that might be something that you want to explore a little bit. I did some exploration and realized that I don't really want to be consuming fluoride that is added to most local water systems. If you're in a, you know, in a, city or a county where they treat their water, they're usually adding fluoride to it. So I would Google that and see why you may not want to have that in your um, water. Um, also, even, even in, you know, cities and stuff that have, you know, a good water system, you're still going to have some bacteria in there and just other things that maybe you don't want. So we actually got something called a Berkey. It's a B-E-R-K-E-Y a couple years ago, and it's a water filtration system. It it's just sits on our counter, and we used that for several years for all of our drinking water. And now that we just built a new home, we actually got a whole house filter that removes all of the things that I don't want to have. Because one of the things that's also important, we, we think about everything that we're consuming through our mouth 
but how many times do you have water on your skin? And so all of those things are going through our skin too, right? Because that's one of our largest organs is our skin. And so now all of the water that comes out of our into the bathtub or on the shower head, it's all got that icky stuff removed. So I um, want to tell you too, I will, I'm going to be talking about a lot of different things. Like for example, the Berkey I just mentioned, I will also have a list um, of all of the things that I talk about and I'll share it here near the end of um, the, the Zoom here and in that chat and then you can get that. And if you need that with the link to the, um, handout as well, you'll get it. But so if you want the link to all the things that we talked about, don't worry about having to write it down too, because I see people asking, yeah, Berkey. I, we bought ours on Amazon, but you can look up Google Berkey and you'll find it. But um, I would say it's definitely something to look at as, um, as you um, go you know, down this wellness journey, because I don't, I used to buy a lot of bottled water and you know, now if you do any kind of research, water sitting in plastic Plastic is not our friend. And so then you're drinking what you think is purified water, which actually may be taken out of a tap at some company that they just put into a plastic bottle and then they sell it as, you know, purified bottled water or whatever. You just never know. And plastic, drinking water that's been sitting there in plastic, the water heats up and the plastic leaches in there. And that's a whole nother thing of, you know, impacting our endocrine system. So Sorry, I got off on a little tangent. We won't even go there because that's a big, that's a big rabbit hole. So anyway, so that was number one was ditching the processed food and sugar. Number two is drinking really good, clean water. Okay. Um, so the third one in helping your immune system, especially right now in this season, I'm thinking we're getting on the tail end of all of the stuff that usually happens in the fall and winter, but we're going to talk about a few of my favorite a respiratory essential oils. So, so if you're unfamiliar with essential oils, the ones that I'm going to share with you tonight are Young from Young Living. That's just the company that I chose uh, over seven years ago to use. I had used a couple other brands, didn't find um, that they were really helping me in my health journey. And so I did a little research and um, chose Young Living because they we're, they are the world leader. We've been around for over um, 25 years and it's just an amazing company that owns their own farms and just has a great history of knowing a lot and just on how to distill the oils properly. So, um, so if you don't, if, if you are unfamiliar and you need more questions, you can ask the person that invited you to this um, Zoom as well. They would be happy to help you out. So the first one I'm going to talk about is one of my favorites. It is called Breathe Again. Hopefully you guys can see it. I can't see me on the screen. So this one's really handy um, because it comes in an easy to use um, uh, container that has a roller top on it. So you would just use this by rolling it directly on your skin. It's already diluted a little bit, which is really nice. So diluted just means that there's already um, some carrier oil inside of this. So you can use this on your chest, on your back, basically anywhere. Um, it's a blend that has peppermint, myrtle, copaiba, and four different types of eucalyptus, you guys. So it's great when you're exercising. It's great if you start to feel like you're getting some congestion going. It's wonderful if you are having a runny nose, um, any of those kind of things, that is a great one for that. Um, Mindy, I don't know off the top of my head, head what how much the Breathe Again is, but that is available through Young Living. So the person that shared this, um, this workshop with you, I would reach out to them because they probably have a way um, to get that for you. So frankincense is another one. Probably you've heard a little bit about frankincense because we know it was given to baby Jesus, right? So frankincense is really wonderful for um, any respiratory thing. It's great for calming. It is literally a powerhouse oil, you guys. It smells so rich and woodsy that it's great to put it on your chest, on your bed, back to use it in a, an Epsom salt bath, which we're going to talk a little bit more about here um, down um, near the end. Of, that's also one of the pieces that we're going to talk about. Um, it's wonderful to use um, to help you focus too. So um, 
It activates actually the part of your brain that does logical thinking versus emotional thinking. I don't know about you guys, but I seem to be doing a lot of emotional thinking in the last few weeks, especially when I'm trying to do the homeschool thing. So, um, so just know that that one is a great one to help um, in, you know, with any kind of help with brain stuff. So it seems like us moms are getting, getting, a, taking a beating, you know. Then the last oil that's for respiratory support that I really love is called RC. Okay, so I love to be able to say it's RC, and it is for respiratory congestion. So, um, but we also call it rub on chest. We like that too. So this one is another one that's a blend. It has um, actually 10 different oils in it. So I love when you can mix oils together to get for a specific use. So this one um, is great in a diffuser. If you have a diffuser, awesome. I have one that's sitting over there in the corner. I don't know if you can see it. Um, but that just brings the oils out into um, the whole room. So everybody will be inhaling it, which is wonderful. Um, but RC used topically on your skin is another powerhouse oil. I love using it in an Epsom salt bath as well because it really does open up the airways really, really easy. So love, love, love being able to have some of those in my arsenal for sure. So all right um yeah rhonda you love rc all right i think um i'm gonna hand it off to candace and she's gonna talk to you about a few things and then i will come back here in a little bit okay so i just want to reiterate what susan said with the water it is so important to drink enough water and this is something that i have really worked on in the last year year and a half and it makes such a difference just in how you feel not even just immune support, but just how we feel overall. And I wanted to share a practical tip. So I don't know if Susan shared this, but I'm a mom of five. Um, we have from three years old to 12 years old. So I am no stranger to chaos. Um, but one of the things we did, we bought our Berkey directly from Berkey. I just Googled them and I found like their direct website. And one of their like little specials when we bought ours was it came with four stainless steel cups. These are not the insulated ones or anything, but here at home, I had my vinyl label girl make each of my kids a different font, a different color, and these are my kids' cups at home. And they're stainless steel, um, so they're not drinking out of plastic cups at home either, because I realized that with kids, glass is a little bit trickier. We actually had a glass break today. Um, so I, I feel you on that, but these are a great option, and I'm sure you could find these on Amazon. And then when we're on the go, we use, I call it the faux Yeti, like the Walmart version of like the Yeti cups, okay? Um, so yes, yeah, so that's a good practical way to help um, eliminate plastics, which is also an important part of drinking water. So, okay, off the water wagon. Uh, but for real, my kids ask me when we go on vacation, we actually take the Berkey with us. Even when we go camping, you guys, we take the Berkey. Like that's how our kids just think everybody has Berkey water. And if they get to somebody's house, there's like, they're like, where's your Berkey? So we love it. It's a good thing. Definitely Google it, price shop it, but it is worth, worth its weight in gold. So um, one of the first things that I'm going to talk about is actually colloidal silver. Um, I remember the first time my mother-in-law brought up silver to me, probably, this was probably 15 years ago. And I remember thinking like, what? All I could think about was that news story with the guy that turned blue. Okay. So that's not what we're talking about. We're not talking about overdosing yourself and turning into a smurf. Okay, um, colloidal silver is actually a, a, a solution of water. It contains nanometer sized particles of suspended silver. Um, it's measured in parts per million typically, um, but colloidal silver, silver has been used for over 6,000 years 6,000 years, to prevent microbial infections. Um, the cool thing about silver is that it doesn't create a resistance with the organisms that, it, that are killed by it, okay? So they can't grow resistant to it. And right now, the CDC says that over 2 million people in the, year, in the U.S. each year suffer from um, antibiotic-resistant infections. So some type of infection where an antibiotic will not will not fix it, okay? And we're getting these super bugs and all of these things. And so silver um, does not do that. So this is, this is a really great tool to have. Um, you can ingest it internally. Uh, most of the time when you buy colloidal silver, it will come with, uh, you know, kind of a pamphlet that gives you an idea of, of dosing or how much you would want to take. Um, a lot of people also use it in a nebulizer, 
So this was fairly new to me in the last few months um, that I realized that you could actually put a little bit of the colloidal silver um, water into your nebulizer. So that's really cool um, and a great way to use it. Two brands that we would suggest that you research or look into if that's something that's of interest to you is Silver Shield. And then the other is Sovereign Silver. Like Susan said, I think she's got a list that she can post at the end. Um, but Silver Shield and Sovereign Silver are the two um, for colloidal silver. So that's a great, just a great tool. It takes very little. Um, we, yeah, we keep ours, you know, in, in the in the wellness cabinet. Um, and it's just a, a, another great tool to have on hand. Um, I'm sorry, Candace, I'll just pop in because I, I grabbed yeah. mine before I um, came up. But so this is a big bottle that I grab. I just get it on Amazon, but they also have a little spray bottle. And so I just use it. Um, Sometimes you can use it as a daily routine, and but then it's also really well received if your body, you know, you start to feel a little bit like something's going on. And then I just keep refilling the spray and I put it right there sublingually under my tongue um, and kids can use it too i spray my 10 year old too and we've done that for over five years so um so anyway so that's kind of what it looks like but you're right i do have a link in that document so yeah perfect and susan is not blue so <laughs> yeah <laughs> <No fear. laughs> um okay so another thing i want to chat about is detox baths this is a big thing in my house um, we love detox baths. So at the first sign of a kiddo coming and just saying like, I just don't really like feel right. Um, we go for a detox bath. That's one of our first lines of defense. Um, I actually take like a quart size Mason jar and I put plain unscented Epsom salt. I think that's really important too. A lot of Epsom salts will come scented and things like that. So if you can find the plain unscented ones, I actually get mine at Walmart um because i can put them on my click list um but you can order them off amazon too but unscented um epsom salt in a quart jar i fill it up about halfway then i add whatever oils i want to add i add a little more epsom salt i add a little bit of baking soda and i give that jar like a really good shake before it's totally full we keep that quart jar in the bathroom and when someone gets that little sign of not feeling so great we just dump about a cup of that mixture into the bath for them one little tip too you guys know minerals are so important. Um, and if you're a Young Living member, you know that mineral essence is like one of the best ways to get some amazing minerals into our body that we're probably missing out on in our diet. But if you've ever tried this, you know that it doesn't really taste fabulous, okay? Um, I'm just gonna be honest with you. It does not taste fabulous. What it does is amazing and it's absolutely worth the taste, but I can't get my kiddos to take it. I'll just be honest, I can't. But what I can do is I take that quart jar and I untwist the lid and just um, after I've shaked, shaken it, I put just a little bit of the mineral essence right on top and then I sprinkle that into the bath water and those minerals are absorbed through their skin. So um, that's like kind of a way to take your detox bath to the next level. Um, so yeah, the, but adding a little bit of baking soda, adding a little bit of mineral essence, you could add apple cider vinegar um, I've also heard of people adding hydrogen peroxide. Um, so a detox bath, though, is a great first step. And I think, I think the suggestion is that you not be in it more than about 20 minutes with the Epsom salt, is my understanding. Um, just maybe so you don't want to detox too much. And you want to make sure, again, that you're drinking plenty of water if you're doing a detox bath. Um, that's really important. But it's relaxing, um, and it's just a great way for your body to kind of start fighting things. Um, so the next thing that I want to get to talk about is thieves. Okay. So thieves is an essential oil blend specifically designed for immune support. That's what this was created for. Um, the name comes from the story that in 15th century France, um, there were thieves that were robbing the dead and the dying. Okay. And in an effort to protect themselves, they had this special aromatic blend that they would use. Um, and that was a blend of um, clove, uh, rosemary, cinnamon bark, um, lemon and eucalyptus are also in here. Um, so this is several different essential oils in one bottle. Um, and you can use this several different ways. You can add some thieves to tea. You make a cup of tea. Um, you can add a drop of thieves and a little bit of honey. Um, you can put this in a capsule. Um, so that's another option. Again, just when you're feeling like you need a little bit of immune support.
Did I mute myself? I think so. I think it was you. I was like, oh no, oh no. <laughs> there we go. I'm sorry. sorry. Okay. No. We make, but we make a roller with this. So we put thieves and coconut oil in a roller bottle, put it on the bottom of our feet morning and night. Um, just great way to support your immune system. We also like to diffuse this. Um, this is great to be diffusing this time of year, um, really and always. And it smells good. It smells so good. It smells like home. It smells like you've been baking apple pies all day. Um, so it's wonderful. And Young Living is known for their thieves blend. And we actually have an entire product line um, devoted to thieves. So um, Susan was talking about produce. So we are big Costco fans too. Um, and so the thieves fruit and veggie soak is a great product if you're wanting to, um, because even organic fruits and vegetables do are allowed to use pesticides. They just have to use different ones. And so cleaning your produce is important to get that residual pesticide off, but also think about all the other people who have maybe picked up those apples or those grapes or whatever you may be grabbing. So um, the thieves fruit and veggie wash is a great option um, just to keep your produce clean. Um, but also thieves hand soap. <laughs> Um, wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands, right? So the cool thing about the Thieves Hand Soap is that it's really gentle because it's plant-based. There's no harsh ingredients. It's not going to dry your hands out. And again, we're all washing our hands so much right now that um, if you're using a harsh soap, chances are your skin is really irritated. Um, and that is not the case with this. I love that it's foaming. It lasts a long time those five kids, <laughs> they can burn through it quick if they, you know, but the foaming makes it last a whole lot longer. Um, and again, it's got the same great smell, the thieves smell. Um, and again, just hand washing is important for our immune system. Um, we also have hand sanitizer. So I didn't bring my big one in, I don't think, but this is a smaller one. And then we buy the bigger ones and refill these smaller ones. But this is what I call like purse or diaper bag size or desk drawer. Um, this smells so good. Uh, and again, no harsh ingredients, no triclosan. So if you are a person that is ir easily irritated with um, traditional hand sanitizers, this is your new best friend. Um, I have a gal on my team that has really struggled with finding a hand sanitizer she could use. Others were very irritating for her and she has like fallen in love with this. This has made such a difference for her. Um, and yeah, this is, this is a little gym. It's got aloe vera in it. So again, it's just super soothing. Um, the Thieves Spray. So this is great to spray on public toilets. <laughs> um, I have four boys and one girl and when we had our daughter and we were like potty training her and using public toilets, I realized like it's a whole different world with little girls. And so this little bottle became my best friend. So I keep one in my purse, I keep one in the diaper bag. Um, if you fly, you can spray like your tray table down with it and your armrests. Um, when we were in the hospital having our last baby, I sprayed down like the, the nurse call button and the phone and just some of the things in the hospital room. You could do that with a hotel room shopping cart handles. Um, yeah, the Thieves Spray is amazing. Um, that's a must have. Um, okay, and then the Thieves Household Cleaner. So this is our household cleaner. This is a 14 ounce bottle, and this will make 14 Windex size bottles of cleaner. So it's super concentrated. Um, that will replace all your other cleaners. So we only have Thieves household cleaner in our house. Like you need to clean a toilet, great, here's the thieves cleaner. You need to clean, um, you know, the countertops, the floor, the whatever, um, here's the thieves cleaner. So you can use a glass spray bottle. This one is actually free this month with a 190 PV purchase and it's gorgeous. Um, but we also use the plastic ones that are in the cleaning aisle at Walmart. Um, I think they're like a dollar and you just put in one ounce of household cleaner concentrate and then you fill up the other 29 ounces with water. So uh, pet safe, kid safe, no more excuses. Your kids can help you clean house. Um, no more holding your breath while you clean the shower. Um, you know what I'm talking about where you're like running out. Um, but truly it has replaced every other cleaner. We use it for everything. Toilets, windows, mirrors, doors, floors, um, showers, everything. And again, it's super economical that this little bottle makes um, 14 Windex size bottles. It ends up being like around $1.50 for a bottle of plant-based cleaner. You like, you cannot beat that. And here's the thing, 
if we are wanting to support our immune system and our respiratory system, we really want to make sure we're using plant products that are not um, known to be irritating to our respiratory system or to fight our body's immune response. And so um, this is the only cleaner in my house and it will be for, for the foreseeable future because again, because I can ask my kids to help, um, but also just because it's so, um, it's so economical and it's um, just, it, it replaces everything else. So it's so much easier. There's one bottle that you grab no matter what job you're doing. So I love that. Yes, me too. And I love, because we have two dogs. We actually had house bunnies. My son was here over the weekend and they have two bunnies that they had to bring with them. And it was like so nice to be like, nope, we can clean up any accidents or they can be wherever because nothing's going to harm them. So I, that, I know that cleaner is like the bomb diggity. So yes. All right. I am on to number six, which we're going to talk about vitamins. Okay. So ideally you want to get a lot of your nutrition from the foods that you eat, right? That's really how your body was made to get all that goodness in there. But we've heard a lot of good tips from all kinds of sources over the last couple months. And so we want to talk about what you want to have on hand in case your body needs a little bit more, or maybe you're not eating as well as you should be, right? So vitamin C, okay? You, if you, maybe you've been under a rock, but you know, vitamin C has been talked up and like, like the banshee storm and it's amazing. So, um, it is actually one of the safest medical wonders on the planet and it has been used for years and has kind of been put in a back seat um, because it is super effective for so many things. So it is one of the essential things that you need for a healthy immune response. So it stimulates the production and function of white blood cells, okay? White blood cells are what you want to be attacking, you know, what is going on in your body, right? So you want something that's going to be helping those white blood cells out. So, um, and this was a fun fact. Um, did you know that most animals can make their own vitamin C? However, we can't do that. So we have to get it through our food or supplementation. So um, the recommended daily allowance is actually really low. So there's a lot of research showing that higher doses of vitamin C are not only safe, but also extremely beneficial for optimal health. Vitamin C is a key antioxidant that helps with collagen production uh, anti-aging, yeah, uh, sign me up, um, and that it even impacts the health of bones and teeth and also helps the body absorb other nutrients, okay? There's a lot of vitamins that and minerals that work in synergy with each other. So you could be taking, you know, a lot of one vitamin, but if you're not, if you're missing that link, linking piece, then your body is not able to absorb it. So you want to be taking something that's well-rounded. So one of the ones that we use in our house is this is actually a Young Living product. This is called Super C. This is a chewable. Young Living also has a Super C um, capsule. So they vary in the um, amount of vitamin C in each one, but I love to have the chewables because they are super easy just to take and pop in your mouth, your kiddos, will totally beg you to take them. So you're not having to twist anybody's arm. So that is the one that we keep in our house. So, um, so that one is from Young Living, but we also stocked up on this vitamin C here, okay? So I'm gonna flip my notes over here. So, um, and I honestly, if I could say this, liposomal, I think is how you say it, but um, this is another way that you can consume vitamin C. It, this is water soluble and sometimes it doesn't absorb like we want it to when it's taken in mega doses. So this type of um, vitamin C is more bioavailable and more easily absorbed into the gut when taking in large doses. So why would you want to take a large dose? Well, when your immune system really needs it. And I would um, challenge you right now to Google vitamin C and this beer thing that's going around that is causing all of the havoc. And you're going to find where this has been proven to be one of the effective pieces that you would want to implement if in fact you needed that. So, um, so having this on hand, but also 
taking something like this regularly to keep that vitamin C built up in our body is really um, pivotal. So, so that is vitamin C. And again, I will link to some of these things in that document so you don't have to worry about that. Another vitamin that we also need to be having friends, and I feel like, oh my gosh, this one gets missed, but it's vitamin D3, okay? This happens to be the one that we use. Again, I'll link to it. Um, you can find vitamin D in a lot of multivitamins, but when push comes to shove, when your immune system is being attacked, you are gonna want to have extra amounts of vitamin D. So you're gonna want to have something in your um, wellness toolbox that is going to give you a higher dose of just vitamin D and you can add that in. So, um, so let me share a little bit here. So um, one of the things I think that we've all kind of gotten, you know, informed about is thinking that the sun is bad for us. So we want to slather on this sunscreen, which actually blocks our ability to absorb a lot of that vitamin D naturally. And I'm not saying you should never put some sunscreen on, okay? However, how we've kind of adjusted our routine is when we are outside, unless we're going to be outside for an extended period of time, you know, in an environment that, um, you know, is going to cause us to get sunburned, we don't use sunscreen unless we know that we really need it because I want my body and, you know, my families to get that vitamin D um, naturally. So. Um, if you can do that, that is the best way because we, I mean, more people are severely depleted in vitamin D3 because they're not getting outside and they're not getting it through their diet either. So um, you can't absorb that vitamin D with sunblock on your skin. So, um, so just like vitamin C, the recommended daily allowance is very low. So, um, and you want a vitamin D that has vitamin K2 with it as well. So that's one that you want to have that's linked together so that it can actually be absorbed, okay? So um, you can actually get the recommended daily allowance of vitamin D3 in Young Living's Master Formula. For those who are Young Living members, if you take Master Formula, then you're good. But if you have an occasion, you're gonna need extra. You're gonna to wanna to have a backup that's just vitamin D3, right? So then the another one is vitamin A. I don't have a vitamin A just like supplement that's by itself, but you wanna make sure that you are getting vitamin A in whatever supplement that you are taking. Oh, I forgot to bring one. I take, I take Master Formula from Young Living, but I also am linking in the document to um, a, an overall, just a normal women's vitamin that I take. But the one thing that I want to say, if you are taking um, a, a vitamin, you know, a, what I want to say, a one a day type of vitamin, try to find one that is from whole foods and not just synthetic components to make up that vitamin, okay? So the link that I'm going to share in the document is one that is um, sourced from whole foods. That's how they're getting all of that stuff into the capsule. So, um, so I wanted to just share that with you guys. Another one that gets missed often is vitamin B. So I love Young Living's Super B. I'm sure that there's other B vitamins that you could take, but one of the things which is really wonderful about the Young Living supplements is that you are gonna find essential oils added to the supplements which actually helps their absorption. So um, I, should, I needed to write this down. The last time I mentioned this, I, I couldn't remember the exact figure and somebody was so kind and typed it into the chat, um, but I need to make a note. But seriously, they, they did a study and when people ate something and they took their blood and measured the vitamin content that, you know, that was given and it was, let's just say 60% or something. And then um, within an hour of taking it. And then they gave them the same type of vitamin that had essential oils added into that. And it went up to being absorbed to like 80 some percent in like the first 20 minutes and then went up from there. It, it was dramatically different. So that is one of the benefits of using um, vitamins and supplements that have essential oils in them. So, so keep that in mind. So vitamin B, 
so good, especially for women right now. And I'm like, I'm stressed. I'm really like, who on here is not stressed right now? It's like, everything is at us. You know, we're, we're filling so many different roles right now. And so that is an area that taxes our body, that stress, and it depletes our vitamin B. And we need to have that for mood support, for energy. Um, th those are key pieces to what our body really needs. And so you want to make sure that you are using that. And I love that the Super B that Young Living has also has um, nutmeg essential oil in it, which is really good for your adrenals. If you're familiar with adrenal glands, we can get them out of whack really easy with um, being in stress situations. And then it releases high cortisols, which just ends up messing with our hormones and all of the things. That's a whole separate class, but it sounds like we probably should do that one next month. Everybody's hormones are going to be even more whacked out after all of this. So the last one that I talk about under the vitamin section is zinc. And you'll probably think, oh, wait, I've heard and I've read a little bit in the news right now about zinc. So this is one that I have linked. This is just, it's a zinc for kids. It doesn't matter if you're kiddo or not. You can just take a little bit more. I just wanted to buy one to have in our backup supply. And so it was great. So this one happens to be flavored. Um, it's, you know, it's a good one. So zinc is a negatively charged ion that hinders the replication of viruses in the body. Uh, I think I want to have that on hand all the time, right? You don't need very much zinc each day, but it's often helpful. So um, you will find if you're a Young Living member, there are products that we have that do have zinc. But again, when you are in a situation where your body's fighting something and you need to have additional, you're going to want a zinc only supplement that you can add into that routine that you have. So that's a good one. Um, and then um, I am, I think I ordered the liacin, which is an amazing amino acid. It helps absorb zinc and supports the body's immune system. So um, that's another one that you can add into your wellness box. So you don't have to take it all the time, but when you want it, you're going to want it in your wellness box, right? So, um, so that is really, um, really critical. So I think we are going to go to our elderberry syrup expert here. I'm so excited that you were on Candace to talk. So yeah. Yes. So I'm super passionate about elderberries. Um, my mom and my stepdad are actually elderberry farmers. Um, so when I started Young Living five and a half years ago, my mom was very skeptical. Um, within probably less than a year, I made a believer of her. Um, and then about three years ago, they started an elderberry farm. Um, so my mom did a complete 180. She went from being very Western tradition or Western, um, you know, traditional American medicine to really looking into things like herbs and elderberries. And so they have a farm with about 3,500 elderberry plants. Um, and elderberry has made the news a lot here lately. A lot of people are catching on to the goodness that is elderberry. It's a very simple um, a thing to add to your wellness routine. Our family does a tablespoon a day. Uh, we just add it to our Ninja Red, which I'll talk about in a second. Um, but it's, it's just the juice from these berries. And truly, a tablespoon a day is what most people do. Um, like with most things, when we feel like we're maybe a little bit under the weather, we increase that. And we will take a tablespoon several times throughout the day. Um, but you can make your own syrup. There are a few different options. Um, you can purchase elderberry syrup, typically from a local health food store or even Amazon. But I just wanna really caution you to look at the ingredients and make sure you're getting what you think you are um, because I think there's a lot of, well, just a lot of not so great products. <laughs> so um, if you can find a local elderberry farm to you, a lot of farms will sell frozen berries. So that's how my parents sell theirs. Um, they can't sell across state lines. So unfortunately they can't sell to any of you. Um, so I'm, I'm not just trying to sell theirs, but if you get on Google and you search for a local elderberry farm, these little farms are popping up everywhere. Um, and you could probably find a local farmer that would love to sell you some berries. So when we make our elderberry juice or syrup, as it's called, um, we use frozen berries and I make big batches. I use about three pounds of frozen berries, 14 cups of water. You bring it to a gentle boil and then you let it set for a couple of hours and then you kind of mash your berries and then you strain the berries out and discard those um, and you're left with that juice. And we add honey and essential oils 
Um, if you are buying dried berries, they even sell them on Amazon. Um, but again, just read labels, look at reviews, make sure you're getting what you think you are. Um, but you can actually use an Instapot recipe where you put the dried berries and water right in your pressure cooker. Um, I think you cook it for, you do 12 minutes um, in the pressure cooker and then let it naturally release. And then kind of the same process, you mash the berries a little, strain them out, add some honey and put it in your jars. Um, you can even add Young Living Cells um, wolfberries, dried wolfberries. So a lot of people will do like half um, wolfberries and half elderberries. So that's an option too, if, um, yeah, if you're a DIYer. So it really isn't hard to make. And again, when you're taking a tablespoon a day, you're not using a ton. So it's worth that little bit of effort up front. But super passionate about elderberries. Um, do Google, do some research because um, there's so much out there right now being studied and just how effective and helpful they can be. So, um, okay, sleep. <laughs> um, sleep was one of the big reasons that I came to Young Living. At the time I joined, I had four children um, and I could literally tell you about the eight nights I had slept through the night in the last decade. None of my kids were good sleepers. Um, so when I, when I found Young Living, one of the first things I found, and I don't think I grabbed it, but was peace and calming. Um, so peace and calming essential oil was a game changer for my children and sleep is so important for our sanity, <laughs> um, and for our mood, but for our immune system, when we're resting is when our body can repair and can work on things. We need that rest time and we need good rest. We need really restorative sleep, not that half awake, half asleep, tossing and turning. We need that good deep sleep for our body to really be able to do the, what it needs to do. So a few of my bedtime favorites. Um, so peace and calming is one we still use on the kiddos. They have a roller. They can put that on the bottom of their feet. We love peace and calming plus lavender in the diffuser is magic. It smells amazing, um, but it is like liquid sleep in a diffuser. Lavender plus peace and calming. Just lavender is great too, but lavender and peace and calming together are amazing. Um, my favorite for me, for mama, is tranquil. So this is a ready to go roll on. It makes it super easy. Um, again, this one smells really good. I will roll a little bit just kind of on the base of my spine where I can reach and my wrists before I get in bed. And this is like the best sleep money can buy. It's amazing. Um, Young Living actually also has a CBD line. And so the new Calm Roller is absolutely fabulous. This is THC free. Um, so you can use it without worrying about that. Um, I'll, same thing, I'll put this on my wrists, a little on the back of my neck. We will even use this with the kiddos sometimes um, if they're struggling, but sleep is really, really important. So if you are not getting good rest, um, then your body is not going to be able to do and function the way that it needs to. So sleep is really, uh, really important. And another thing is being on a schedule. Yes, Sherry is my mom. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, trying to stay on a schedule, which again, right now, you guys, the world is upside down. So grace upon grace for ourselves, right? Um, but in general, if we can try to keep to a schedule, um, it's really great for kind of the rhythm of going to bed around the same time and getting up around the same time if we can, but that's, that's also helpful. Um, another one is the Isaiah 41 roller recipe, um, which I think is, let's see if I can do this, lavender, stress away, Peace and Calming, Vetiver, I'm missing one, um, Valor, I think. Anyway, you can make a roller of those, but my favorite thing to do is actually just to put a drop of each in my hands before bed and do this. Take a few big deep breaths and then like rub it across my shoulders, especially if you've had like a tense or stressful day, rub it across my arms, run it through my hair. Your hair is a great diffuser. Um, and so, yeah, so the Isaiah 41 roller is another good sleep option um, just because it's so calming. Um, okay, other than sleep, I said I was gonna talk about Ninja Red. So to me, Ninja Red and Elderberry go hand in hand. Um, a lot of people um, will ask like, oh, well, if I do Elderberry, do I, do, do I need Ninja? Or if I drink Ninja Red, do I also need to do Elderberry? And we still do both. Um, so, Ninja Red supports our body's natural detoxification process. 
Um, it supports normal cellular function. Everybody wants that. Supports normal eye health. It's energizing. Um, it's a nutrient rich drink infused with antioxidant providing super fruits. Okay, like wolfberry, aronia, cherry, um, blueberry, pomegranate, plum. Um, it's a whole food infusion of antioxidants for our body. Um, I tell people it's a little bit more like orange juice than apple juice. It's a little bit thicker consistency because they actually puree the whole fruit. So you're getting the benefit from the entire fruit, not just from the juice, um, which I think is really cool. It contains vital nutrients that may be missing in our modern diet, especially again, right now, right? If you're not fueling your body really well with the food you're eating and things, you might be missing out on some of these vitamins or nutrients um, that Ninja Red can provide. It helps to prevent against oxidative stress and helps fight the damaging effects of free radicals in our body as well. So it's one that we do an ounce a day. Um, so typically in the morning, we line up little shot glasses and we do an ounce of Ninja, a tablespoon of elderberry, um, and we shoot that down in the morning. But tonight, what, nights like tonight, it's a little later here. I'm on the East Coast in Kentucky, so it's almost 10 o'clock my time. So I put actually put Ninja Red, um, Elderberry, and then the new one of the new tea bags. So this is vanilla lemongrass green tea. And so this is just you know a nice little a nice way to get your Ninja in. So you can mix it in smoothies. Um, you can add it to drinks like this. Most people like the taste. It's not something that you have to like hide the taste of. It tastes very good. Again, my kids would chug the bottle if I let them, um, but we do, like I said, about an ounce a day. Um, again, unless we're not feeling so great, and then we'll up that um, a little bit as we see fit. But Ninja Red is one of the things that our house really runs on. That and elderberry, um, I really think are a huge part of how we have avoided a lot of the sickness that went around our kids' school earlier this year. Flu, you know, strep throat, all those things were flying around that school. And I really think um, drinking elderberry and Ninja Red daily, um, along with, you know, using our oils, eating healthy, sleeping well, all of these things play together. But I really think that these are two really big pieces of the puzzle, at least for our family. So I'm pretty passionate. <laughs> Yes, you are. I love it though. Um, okay, so we have just a couple more um, to chat on. So this one is also one I love to talk about because it's free. It costs you nothing, okay? So it is move your body. We are a society that is sitting more than ever before in history and it is killing us, you guys, literally. So, um, so regular exercise is definitely something that you want to be doing. And so I kind of hate that word exercise because it feels like you got to put on the Jane Fonda workout suit. You got to have some kind of routine that is like all, you know, you guys don't complicate it at all. Just get your body moving. Do something that you enjoy so that you are, you know, getting all of the things going on and you're getting out of the house. Okay. So if you can get out of the house to get that vitamin D at the same time that you are getting some exercise, you just, there's a double whammy right there. Right. So I know for the last, you know, whatever it's been, six weeks, getting outside for a walk has just been so life-giving. So it definitely helps your immune system stay strong. Um, and then um, I just, if you did not, and I'm not, this is not a political thing, but if you did not catch any information from the press briefing today, they released um, some really great information that I want to share with you guys today because it um, said, and so not only for this particular beer thing that we are in a situation about, um, but if you could think this is going to pertain to any other type of virus that you may end up coming in contact with. So sunlight actually impedes virus transmission. That's what they just shared today, you guys. This has been something that I have been just preaching, preaching to my friends and my community, it's like, you know what? I know the best thing that we can be doing is getting outside and getting exercise and breathing in that fresh air. That is so good for our body. So the other thing, which I will also touch on here in a minute, but they also said sun and humidity. So sun and humidity and heat basically, 
for if you are in 70 to 75 degrees with 80 percent humidity that's pretty high humidity okay i'll just say that but um that the virus doesn't last any more than two minutes okay so guys this is such a great great news okay so get outside and move your body walk run you know whatever whatever it is that you love to do so Studies show that if you exercise, especially as you get older, your muscles stay strong and intact longer while your blood pressure may avoid the uptick often associated with aging. So we know, right? We know this is good for us and we just need to make sure that it happens, right? So yes, move your body. So another little tip that I'm gonna touch on is something that um, we've been having go around in our Young Living community is called the DIY Nose Swipe. And you have the recipe there. So if you are a Young Living member, then that you will have these things that you have access to. But this, so our nose is kind of gross, okay? I'm just saying. So it's, it's like a hotbed for germs. And so if we can help that area of our body Kind of combat some things it's really helpful so you can make a little diy nose swap so i just happen to have this little plastic container you don't have to have anything fancy um, and what it is is um, rose ointment and you can use either or both egyptian gold which is um, a blend that young living has um, of oils that's amazing there are so many um, oils in that blend as well as exact exodus too so either one or you could put a drop of both of those and then the rose ointment comes in this little container and that's just what it looks like on the inside here so it's just an ointment and you put the ointment in your little container drop a few drops of essential oils in there and then you just can take a little q-tip and you can put it on the inside of your nose so so Anytime that I'm going to be flying now, guess what's going to be going in my nose before I get on that airplane? Because I'm breathing in everybody else's nastiness, you know, 150 or so people on the airplane. So that's kind of gross. So it has been the real bomb. Plus that rose ointment is super nourishing for, um, for the inside of your nose anyway. So it's not going to be harmful. And you know what? I just had a hunch and a thought. How about using um, that mixed with a little LLP and make your little one for allergy? So this is allergy season and Young Living members know lavender, lemon, and peppermint. You could make a very similar little nose swab like that um, with some of those oils in there and use it inside your nose. I thought that's going to be pretty good too. You've done it with RC as well. That's a good one. Yeah. So Anyway, okay, the last tip tonight, and then I will open it up for some questions. I think we might have missed a few of the questions, but this goes along with what I just shared that they shared today at the press briefing about humidity, okay? So I can't see myself on the screen, but I think you can see, I have a diffuser that's over in the corner, but right behind me here is a bigger, that's a humidifier, okay? So you guys, you have got to have a humidifier or two in your home. The way houses are built now, they are so airtight that especially in the winter when your furnace is running to heat up that house, that's dry heat. And you've got to add moisture into your home in order to help bring down the bacteria and virus. They cannot they don't thrive when there is a humid environment. It doesn't mean you have to have it cranked up to be a sauna, but just that extra moisture in your home is huge. A recent study found that raising indoor humidity levels to at least 43% had a dramatic effect on approximately 85% of airborne viruses, rendering them virtually ineffective, okay? So I, in my little document, I'm linking to the diffuser that I have um, and grabbed on um, Amazon and we have two in our home and I'm probably going to get another one um, because it's just a great way that you can um, increase the humidity in your house and keep those viruses from being able to spread and, you know, duplicate so good. So, ah, okay, well that was... Um, I, I would say, yeah, and animals, oh, you were answering somebody else's. I was like, I thought that was a question. I'm sorry. Um, okay, so we covered a lot of stuff. So just know if you missed something or you're like, oh, I'm not sure what was that, 
you can ask a question um, and then also copy that link to the document of the products I mentioned. You'll have the links to anything that we mentioned. You can take a look at it and get a little bit more information on those items. Um, if you are here and you're not a Young Living member, the person who shared this class with you would love to just share a little bit more information about that. So make sure that you reach out to them and they can help you with that. Um, but feel free to either unmute yourself or you can type a question here in the comments and then we'll get things wrapped up for you guys. But I hope you learned at least one thing by showing up tonight, okay? Because that's that's the heart of what we wanted to offer is, you know, we've I've learned things over my years and if other people hadn't shared with me over this period of time, then I wouldn't have had the knowledge that I have and now I can share it with other people, right? So, all right, let's see if we have any questions. Anybody? Oh, that's a good idea, Amy. Yeah, you could use the lavender lip balm with a Q-tip and stir the oils right into your palm. Yeah, Young Living has a lavender lip balm. That would be great for that. Yeah, doing that. I had a question. I have a question, Susan. Yes, Patty. I hear Patty's voice. I recognize yes. Patty's voice. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm sorry. I turned my video off. No, it's okay. um, th thank you for adding me late, by the way. Uh, this has been very good. Um, I, that's the first I've heard about needing to have a humidifier as well as a diffuser. I used to run a humidifier all the time, and I assumed that having the diffuser made it, you know, I didn't need a humidifier anymore. So, but what you're saying is different. So, oh, well, so this is Susan, no doctor, no scientist. <laughs> but I'm just saying, even so, I live in Washington State, which you would think I don't need a humidifier. It's pretty damp here and whatever. Yeah. But but no, I, so I run several diffusers in my house, but the volume of, you know, moisture that comes out from the humidifier is significantly more. And we have a larger area too, to kind of go. So, so I have run both all winter okay. long and okay. we have not been sick one time this entire year. And sometimes wow. we get a little touch of something, but this entire fall and winter season, we've had nothing. So I definitely feel it's something to look into for sure. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. And then Erin, did you have, I thought saw somebody else unmuted themselves and ha had a question maybe. I did. Um, so you had mentioned at some point the, the shelf stability of something, which triggered my thought, if we're wanting to have these vitamins kind of as a backup, um, maybe we would usually take master formula, but then we might want to have something extra. What is the, Obviously, there's going to be you know some some label that says how long it lasts, but with vitamins, do you want to use them fairly quickly? Should you That's be rotating? A really good question. I'm just thinking um, in terms of having a wellness kit for future, you know, potential yeah. fall scenarios that we might be coming up against. You know what? I would probably say that. Um, if it were me and you wanted to be, if you hadn't opened something, then I would say the shelf life is probably a good couple years. But once something is open, I would say you probably want to use that at the end of that season and maybe this fall, you know, or, you know, the beginning of winter. If, if you have a bottle, let's say a vitamin C that maybe, you know, you hadn't completed or didn't use all the way, I, I might get another one. I don't really know. That's a great thing to maybe I'll have to Google that because I honestly really don't know what the shelf life is. And it probably does differ from something that's factory sealed and still, you know, has that airtight seal versus something that's been exposed to the air. So good question. I'm going to write that down so that I can um, look it up. So thank you for that one. All right. Anyone else? Darlene says she makes Kaleido Silver. Girl, you are my hero. That is on my list. I want to learn how to make it. And I know that it's not very difficult to make um, and it is totally less expensive. Yes, I love that. Way, way to go. Susan, hey. Yes, hi. It's Louise. I don't necessarily have a question. I just wanted to say that this class was extremely well-rounded. I loved how you picked Young Living products, but also selected 
others, like the elderberry syrup. I loved hearing about, like, I want to go to that elderberry farm, okay? <laughs> I, I want to make friends with her boys, Nate, what it was, Nate and Luke, and go to that elderberry farm. But just the elderberry and the vitamin D and the colloidal silver and the sunshine and, um, you know, Susan and I kind of follow each other and we really have a, a very common bond in a very, uh, very like-minded in our ways. And it is, it's well-roundedness. It's getting the proper rest. It's getting the sugar out of our diets. And, um, and you know, but it's, so it's not just that one thing. And I think that this class did a great job of doing that, Susan. And I don't know who's on, who all is on here. There's 31 of us. There was 44 at one point, Susan. But if you're not following Susan on Facebook. You really need to. Her personal Facebook page and her, um, she's got like a natural health page. It's kind of similar. I have a natural health page also. Susan and I are cross-line friends. We met in a coaching group last year and um, we're very like-minded. <laughs> so we quickly became, um, you know, fast friends. But follow Susan on Facebook and um, I think she's she's a wealth of knowledge and uh, she loves God and she's um, always seeking God's will in everything she does and you can quickly pick up on that. And I think that's actually where she probably gets a lot of her wisdom from. So, <laughs> um, so anyway, I just wanted to kind of say um, thank you so much, Susan, for every day pouring yourself into that platform, which is Facebook. That's where I, my, it's my platform. And for taking the time, because it does take a lot of time. And if you're on Susan's team, you, yeah, you are blessed. You are so blessed. Okay. So I just wanted to put that out there. You don't, you you don't all, I, I'm gonna, no, I'm not going to make her blush. Okay. But you don't often get a cross line to come in. She invited, she allowed me to invite my team here and you don't often get a cross line for him to just kind of like say, you know what, <laughs> you're the real deal, Susan. And I love you. And yeah, so I'm sorry to put you on the spot and embarrass you, oh, but you deserve kind. it. Very you deserve kind. it. But you pour in to us and total strangers. And I just wanted to thank you. Oh, well, I appreciate you, friend. Thank you so much. That was kind. Well, I'll tell you, Louise has been, and I have yet, maybe tomorrow's my day. She's been doing um, live yoga on her Facebook page um, and out on her deck and anybody can tune in. And so that's been amazing. And it's the time that you do it is kind of where I'm trying to get my day started. But I, one of these days, I'm going to show up because you, I, I catch little bits of it. So we, you know, that's the one thing I love about community is we each have our gifts and our strengths. And when people can come together and share them in such a um, profound way and truly bless other people, like that's what community is, right? That's what we desire. So thank you, Louise. That was very kind. All right, any other questions for me or Candace? All right, okay, so again, before I get, jump off, um, if you need the link to either the handout, I know somebody was having trouble at the beginning, so if you need a link to the handout or you need um, a link to the document that has the links to the, some of the products that we talked about, please, um, go ahead and um, message me on Facebook or the person that shared the class with you and, and they know how to get a, hold, get a hold of me and we'll get that. And then also I will be sharing the recording. Um, so if you would like to have the recording to view it again, or if you have somebody else that you wanna share this information with, by all means, yes, it is gonna be available for, for people to, um, to glean and learn from, so. Anyway, anything from you, um, Candice, before we sign off? No, but this was fun. Thank you all for hanging out with us tonight. We appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, Candice. I know it's late for you, and I really appreciate that. It's fun to co-teach a class and not just do it all on my own, so I really appreciate what you brought to the table, too. So, All right, you guys. Thanks so much, and stay well. And implement one of these things tomorrow. Okay. We can all do the exercise. I know that. So, <laughs> all right. See you later.